This is Pamela, and you are on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. I'd like to say welcome to my channel, but today's video is Whip Caddy Wednesday. That is works in progress. And um, I get to showcase a lot of the things that you guys are working on, along with some things that I'm working on, and update you guys and stuff like that. So just grab you a cup of coffee, grab you something to eat, sit back and relax, and let's just enjoy some good old Whip Caddy Wednesday, our favorite video of the week. So today, I am drinking French vanilla coffee with some cold cream caramel macchiato. Mm. It is so good, guys. So good. All right, so I guess I can show you, well, oh, I know what I was wanting to do first. Let's see. Um, Amy, which is my son-in-law's aunt, um, let me show you a picture of, of us together. This is me with Amy. Hey, Amy. And I'd like to give her a huge shout out. And um, she's doing very well. She, she's she been a knitter and she just recently learned to crochet watching some of my videos and stuff. And um, I just think that is so cool. Anyway, so I just wanna say hi to Amy. But what the biggest thing is, is that her daughter, her name is Julie. Hi, Julie. And um, she's only like 14. And she crocheted her first baby blanket for someone in their church. And so here's the picture of the blanket that she crocheted and she's only 14. So I'd like to give a huge shout out to Julie. So um, guys, if you would like, I would love it. It would mean a lot to me and to Julie if you would uh, put in the comments um, something, um, a note to her and to, to keep encouraging her to keep on. I, I would love to read those. So, and um, I'm sure Amy will show Julie as well so, Julie, I'm very excited for you. Very proud of you. Okay. Uh, the other thing is I got this Crochet World in. I don't know if you guys got this, but I like this blanket a lot. I love the colors, nice fall colors, which has inspired me to make a... Uh, I already had a blanket pattern picked out that I was going to do, you know, some, some rows of stitches that I was planning on putting together. But I wasn't sure of my colors yet. But after seeing their colors on there, I'm thinking I may choose some colors similar to that for my fall blanket that I have already lined out. So, um, who knows, I may make this one as well to go along with it. And that way they'd be on separate sides of the room. But anyway, let me show you some of the things that they have in this magazine. Uh, this is the magazine that I have a pattern coming out pretty soon. Um, I really thought it was going to be in this one and I'm not sure why I thought that, but it's not in this one. So <laughs> I guess it's going to be in the next one. Anyway, here's the things that they have in here. They got some really cool things, don't they? All right, the other thing is um, my Annie's kit. I'm so excited, and Amy, I think you're going to enjoy this as well. Well, this is the monthly kit from Annie's, and I like her here where you uh, cut it open. Let's see, it said, open for inspiration. How cool is that? Well, I love Annie's, and Annie's, I just, Annie, I would just wanna say thank you for sending this to me. I appreciate this, I love this. Now. I know one of the other kits that I was working on was the cable shawl for the baby, I mean, for the toddler, for Charlie Mae and stuff. But guys, I'm not much of a cable person, and so that's just a lot of thinking. I like to do things that are a little more on the simpler side where they go faster and I get the project done. Um, I'm kind of like those people that, you know, I like to do things in the microwave quick and even the microwave's not quick enough. So, <laughs> uh, I did put that to the side only because it takes a lot of thinking on that one because of the cables. 
and I was actually thinking about maybe changing it up as far as maybe the hood not having cables or something. But anyway, I will pick that back up because I do love that project. And it does have videos to go with it, so it's not like I can't do it. It's just a slow process for me. Well, this new one that they have, I love this yarn right here. Look at that. So it is like a blue, you, you've seen, what is that color called? That's blue and purple. Um, mm, I can't think of what that, I wanna call it like Robin's Egg Blue, something like that. Um, I'm not sure if that's the word I'm looking for or not. But anyway, let's see. Um, oh, and then they have a little correction in here. I like that. So I can tape that to my pattern here. And But I want to show you what the pattern is. It's so cool. Now, the pattern is knit and crochet. So they give you both versions. So let me show that to you. There it is. Amy, you know you're gonna to wanna to make this. Let me see what sizes this comes in because that's definitely a toddler. Um, let's see. Okay, so a one-year-old, two and four. So it comes in three sizes, I take it. Yeah, one, two, three. It comes in three sizes, so uh, um, Amy, if you're, if you're still getting these kids, you may want to make these for the twins. Look at that. I know they can't wear them this fall. They'll only be, what, four months old, something. But they can wear them next year. Give you plenty of time. But knit and crochet. And you knit and crochet, Amy. You do both. So, um, but yeah. I, I definitely want to make that. And I showed this to my husband, and he was... He loved it too. He's like, oh yeah, you gotta make a hoodie. <laughs> and I said, yeah, this hoodie is so cool. And I said that without even realizing that cool is in the title. Look, cool kids hoodie. So I'm going to um, kind of mess around with that and see what I can do for little Charlie May. Uh, let's see, what else do I have? Oh, and then the correction, I'm just going to tape that to the inside on the instructions. And if you haven't seen the instructions, by the way, it comes with like a glossy paper. And um, I think that's neat that they put the crochet and the knit on the front. Usually they're, they're separate. But in this glossy book here, you do get um, both the um, crochet and the knit version. So either way. <laughs> Let's see what weight yarn that is. In your kit, that's a one. <laughs> oh my gosh, a one. I don't know if I've ever worked with a one before. But okay. <laughs> I will have fun with that. I will leave a link below in case you're interested in um, signing up for any of their kits. They have tons of kits. Blanket kits, they have ongoing kits. The blanket kits always have an, an ending time to them. Like they're a 10 week thing, you can get the yarn. I, I think the kids maybe weekly, bi weekly, or monthly. Um, this thing that I'm in is called the Hook and Needle Kit Club. Um, and that means so it's crochet and knit both. And that is ongoing. Um, you just get a new kit every month. So I love that. All right, I just want to remind you that I did the building block stitch. If you haven't seen this, stitch tutorial i did it in purple and in yellow so that's the building block stitch tutorial that i just put out recently and the other thing is i really have not guys you know i've been in school this is finals like today at three o'clock i've got to watch a zoom class then i have my final exam which is like 35 questions they give you 120 minutes to finish it and it's chapters one through nine. And so I have that at, starting at three o'clock today. So I've been busy working on getting my argument research essay in. I just, uh, I submitted that, I believe yesterday in the morning, I believe. 
But anyway, so I've been busy <laughs> with getting the finals in for this week. So that's one reason why I didn't put a video out Monday and Tuesday is I was caught up in trying to do all that stuff. So I just wanted to update you guys. Well, it's not really an update, just to remind you, this is the um, cone, stackable cone that I'm working on. It's a free pattern from Hobie. It will be a dinosaur for Knox. And there's the head. So I'm working on the rings. So I haven't made any progress because I've been working on that right there and getting it going. But I'll leave the link below for this. This is a free pattern from Hobie, right there, Ho Hobie Stackable. So you may want to uh, print that out and make one of those if you'd like. Now, I'm going to be a ring short because my rings, since I didn't buy the cone, I stuffed the cone, and so therefore the rings, um, the first ring is too wide because I'm sure the cone would have been bigger than my stuffed cone. Anyway, so I'm working on that, and I am going to make some baskets that are um, stackable, a, a set of three for you guys, and I'm going to make that in this cream right here. So look forward to that, and um, I think you guys will like that. Um, I think they're going to be like three inches, five inches and maybe seven inches or something like that. I think that's about how I want them to be. Anyway, <laughs> so look forward to that. And let me show you the update on my blanket here. This is Charlie May's blanket. And this is how much I've gotten so far. Right there. I am on my decrease rows as you can see, right there. And that's it. And then this is the other opposite end. I will be mirroring this right here. So that's it. And then the center will just be all this pink and white. So I've got several more of these and my sister Tanya, she has agreed to, you know, she is the basket, one of the basket queens, not the only, I have several of you guys, but she is one of the basket queens. And this is one of my tutorials, my hottest tutorial actually. <laughs> and um, this is one that she made for me. And this is, I'm working out of this. Well, she's going to make me, a, I think four of these so that I can put this and the, and the monster in there all in one. And then I'm going to, once she gives them back to me, then I'm going to put a big letter on the front of each of the kids, you know, first initial on there. So I'm looking forward to that. That's gonna be fun. And um, yeah, she is gonna make four of these. <laughs> so be sure and look to, uh, forward to those. Well, well guys, that's really all that I have for this video. Let me, uh, let's see what you guys are up to. Okay, here we have Tanisha's and she says, good afternoon all. And here are her two market bags in progress using big twist yarns in medium gray, bubble gum and warm brights. She says, I know I didn't finish the first bag when I started the second one, but I wanted to keep the crochet motivation going. Thanks for the tutorial, Pamela. Well, you're very welcome. And I agree, I would have two going at the same time as well. Okay, here we have Susie. Susie says that she loves my channel and thank you so much for that, Susie. I appreciate that. She says she's been watching me for at least four years now and she looks forward to each episode. Thank you so much. She says, as a fellow yarnaholic, really enjoy your content and upbeat presentation. Well, thank you, I appreciate that. She said that she would like to share some completed projects for the Whip Caddy Wednesday video. She said the first is a loaf cat that she made for her brother who has a real cat who looks almost identical. The real cat is called Dusty. Well, Dusty is so cute. And she says that the yarn that she used is Joanne's Big Twist in charcoal. The loaf cut pattern is by Handmade by Annie on Etsy, which is currently very popular. 
Okay, and the next thing Susie has is on the left-hand side, she said that that is my beginner crochet summer cardigan, and she crocheted it with Burnett Baby in the color coral. She said uh, when she puts the pick on there, it looks more orange than it does in person. The actual color shows more pinkish coral. She said it works up great, easy to follow pattern. Well, thank you so much. And the um, pattern on the left is simple, quick to work up ear warmers that she followed the YouTube tutorial by Lisa from Happy to Hook Crochet, I mean Creations. She said she used the worsted weight yarn and are great for using up skein lovers. Well, everything is beautiful. Thank you so much, Susie, for sharing with us. Okay, guys, that was just wonderful. Thank you so much for posting. Um, thank you guys for all the support that you give me. I appreciate it. The uh, comments just help, really help encourage me. Thank you guys for watching my videos and giving me watch time and things like that, that um, all of us that have, all of us podcasters need. And I just want to say, I thank you guys very much for that. I do not take that for granted. I feel very blessed and humbled. And I just want to say thank you. Okay, guys, let's read our Buy Steel Waters. This was given to me by a friend named Doris. And uh, let me get my specs on so that I can read. <laughs> Um, encouragement does wonders. Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up just as in fact you are doing. That's 1 Thessalonians 5.11. If you look deep into the eyes of people or you listen very carefully to what they say or what they don't say, you can sometimes sense their emotional needs. Perhaps your boss brags on herself so much that she comes off as arrogant. Or maybe your coworker becomes the queen of put downs in an effort to make herself appear superior. Adults act out in ways that seem more like a little childish, and yet the background story behind these deeds may be riddled with pain. Perhaps vital words of encouragement were withheld along their journeys when it mattered the most. When we know that we can offer kind and uplifting words to a child or an adult, may we never hesitate to give it. Not indulging in flattery, which can bring more harm than good, but offering genuine praise and support and reassurance. The book of Proverbs reminds us that anxious hearts are very heavy, but a word of encouragement does wonders. That's Proverbs 12, 25. Yes, that heart smile you put on someone else's face. Well, it's deeply so satisfying. May we never withhold words that can build up our fellow sojourn. Wow. Holy Spirit, show me the people I need to encourage today. Amen. Wow, that is definitely needed. I needed that. Um, I definitely want to work on that myself. <laughs> and um, I hope that has helped you guys as well. But guys, that's all that I have for this video. Remember to live life. Well, how about, let's say, just remember to keep crocheting, live life, have fun, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.